Where is the best place to hide a dead body? Page two of Google. As a small business owner, you are probably looking at creating your own website for your business or you're new to search engine optimization. And you definitely have tons of questions, especially about some of its characteristics, some of which includes meta tags, content keywords, and backlinks. But in today's video, we're going to be focusing on how important backlinks are to SEO and what you should definitely avoid. Now, first of all, what are these backlinks? Backlinks go by many names like one-way links, incoming links, or inbound links. But basically, they are links that are responsible for the ranking of search results. Who is responsible for this madness? They play a huge part in building site domains and page authorities, therefore making them very necessary components of your web page. It's very necessary. It's a it is, however, considered by the Google search algorithm as a sort of a vote of confidence. So how does this actually work? Basically, the backlink is created when a website gets linked to a different website. Also, the strength of the backlink depends on how important and high ranked that website link to yours is. These backlinks have a great influence on your SEO and search engine page results. The search engines collect information and rank pages with the use of algorithms, which, as well as the use of spiders and bots, they check for backlinks and content on sites. They therefore accumulate the volume and importance of pages linked to yours that impacts the rank of your page. So the quality of your SERP depends on the quality of your backlinks. Another thing backlinks do for your SEO is when you have a good number of reliable sources of backlinks, it sends a signal to Google that you are considered a good partner to various websites. This also gives a better chance of getting high SERP, therefore drives traffic more to your site. Now, when looking for backlinks, there are several types that you should consider first. First up, natural backlinks. Now, this occurs when another website gives out backlinks without you having to actually play a part necessarily. Now, now, this happens when the owners of websites or authors of articles find your content worthy of following and decide to link your website. Now, this doesn't take more than having to create the best quality of content and website that you possibly can. Now, you could also play a part in this by creating shareable content such as a topical survey in your area of industry or even a useful tool like for example, a solar panel calculator, for example, and send the link with brief information to contacts in whichever websites or news sites you think might actually find it useful and see if it gets picked up. There are whole departments in marketing companies that work on developing contacts with strong websites such as BBC News and CNN and sending any topical content to their journalists in the hope that it will actually be picked up and a backlink created and this can prove very worthwhile as well as providing really interesting and quality content for your website in the first place, you've also got manual backlinks. This is an easy way of getting backlinks and it can be done by promoting your company or business with the backlink when you actually get the opportunity to be maybe a guest on another website. Now be careful to make sure that you have the permission of the owner or author to avoid any problems. Now normally people are more than happy to say where you can be found if they're interviewing you or you're proving useful content for their own site. So always provide value, whatever you're doing. You've also got self-created backlinks. Now, just like the name, you are solely responsible for this particular backlink and it's basically attempting to trick search engines into thinking that your website is awesome because of all the backlinks there are linking towards it. Now, don't bother with this one. You're a good person, don't do this. There are teams of companies waiting to take your money to provide you with X amount of backlinks and the minute those powerful all-knowing algorithms pick up on it, your site will be penalised and moved down the ranks. Plus, most of the websites that offer this will not be connected to your industry in any way and lower your rankings even more. 
Now we've got do follow backlinks. Now it's natural for a website to have a mix of these next two backlinks, do follow and no follow backlinks. Now do follow backlinks have direct impacts on your domain and page influence as this also gives strength to your website and increases the ratings. It includes an actual link to your site and contains the anchor text and instructions meant for it, providing Google and search engines with all the juice and connections that they want and giving your site extra kudos. Then we have no follow backlinks. Now these, unlike the do follow backlinks, these don't actually attract site ratings, but they are still of value because they help drive traffic to your site by making it easy for first timers to actually find you. They still link to your site and can help with your branding, but they don't actually have all the background juice and information that Google actually wants to give your site the extra authority from being connected to that particular site. They tell Google not to follow the link, so people will actually go to your website but this website doesn't necessarily want to be associated with your website, therefore Google won't follow it. Now, you might wonder if all backlinks matter. Now, at the initial stage of building your website, it absolutely does matter. The more backlinks you are able to create, the better for your website. Nonetheless, as we have already mentioned earlier, the backlinks are of different value, with the self-created ones being the least significant compared to the ones that are naturally gained. Another thing to consider when using backlinks is where they are actually placed. Now this is referred to as the location of the link. Now typically, the visibility of a backlink to users earns you a higher ranking. So definitely, the rating for the link in the middle of an article combined with a contextual backlink will give you more kudos than if it was right at the end of the page. Now just like the location of the link, there are other things to consider when using backlinks such as the authority of the domain. So whatever backlinks you're able to actually source should be thoroughly checked to be from websites with high quality, as this also helps to increase your ratings in the search algorithm. If, however, the links that you source are from really spammy websites, then it could lead to a severe drop in your ranks from Google or search engines, and that's not good. We've also got relevancy. Now, you should also keep in mind that Google is capable of determining how relevant the backlink is to your website and content, and with that gives out suitable ratings. Therefore, the ratings are dependent on the relevance of the websites to each other. If they're relevant, the rating is higher. If not, then lower. Then we have the number of links that you actually have. Now, while you might want to think that more means better, that's certainly not necessarily the case when handling or using backlinks. Now, making use of just a few carefully considered links will give more value to your ratings. Hence, your golden rule should be quality over quantity. While I've just given ways to get quality backlinks, there are things that should be avoided. First, is to try not to buy packs of backlinks randomly, even when the seller says otherwise. Personally and constantly concentrate on your growth. Now, another will be try not to reduce the quality of your backlinks all in the name of the website looking attractive. And you only end up losing ratings as this is a very important basis by which Google actually ranks websites, which helps drive traffic. Lastly, whilst you might want to get to the top of the ranks as quickly as you possibly can, try your very best not to play the system. If an attempt to do so is noticed by Google, you stand the chance of getting completely banned and that will lead to not being visible on Google searches, which is pretty much business death. It's dead. Now, the advantages of making use to backlink can't be overemphasized as it does so much for generating traffic to your small business and your website. It improves your Google ranking and makes it easier for potential customers to actually reach you. And most importantly, something that most people fail to realize is that the quality of your backlink attracts more people to link you when writing articles, even without being asked. So to my small business owners out there, as you have taken all this in, make sure to put all of it into consideration when building your own website. Take your time and build relevant relationships and it will really pay off, especially with websites within your niche. You will definitely, definitely build your SEO and backlinks that way. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.